I'm Steven Slate, and I'd like to introduce you to Raven 3.0 for Digital Performer. Now let me show you some of the incredible features when using the Raven consoles with Digital Performer. If you're using a different DAW, click here to view our other supported DAW videos. Let's begin. The Raven software gives you access to 24 100 millimeter multi-touch faders with instant response on its ultra slick and smooth nano glide surface. Banking to more tracks is just a swipe of the finger, and I have direct access to multi-touch pans above my channels. When using the Raven mixer, I can grab a fader and then move my finger off of it and still maintain control. Then I can grab more faders across the console and have control over those as well, never having to leave the sweet spot of my mix position. I can swipe solos and mutes and even skip underneath the tracks I don't want to include just as easily. In modern workflow, so much of our volume automation relies on small and precise moves like half dB rides on a vocal. The Raven solves this problem with a feature known as fine faders. This mode quadruples the resolution of the faders and allows you to move your finger a greater distance while confining the actual fader range to tenth of a dB increments. The speed of the response can easily be changed to the range of scale that fits your needs. The mouse and keyboard are great tools for editing, but when you add in touch, it becomes way more powerful. The Raven allows users to directly touch their audio on the edit window. Incorporating the ability of touch along with the mouse and keyboard will increase the speed of your routine processes exponentially. You can incorporate both hands when moving through selections of audio. And using the nav pad, you can quickly navigate through sessions by scrolling up, down, left, and right. You can also use the zooming buttons to increase and decrease the size of the audio on the edit window. When drawing in automation, your finger becomes the pencil tool. It's now so quick and convenient to draw in the changes you want. To add a plugin, I'll touch and insert and navigate through the plugin menu here. As an example, I can navigate to the Slate Digital tab and double tap my virtual mix rack on the list. Once selected, the plugin loads and I make my adjustments. You don't have to turn any generic logic controller knobs. You don't have to map out any of the plugin parameters. You just load the plugin and tweak the actual controls. If you prefer to work on the arrange window while mixing, we've included the floating mixer, which makes it easy to have multi-touch faders and the arrange window open simultaneously. We've also included the floating toolbar and essentials palette to make accessing more tools even easier. Users have easy access to a multitude of Raven toolbars filled with powerful touch tools designed specifically for your DAW. The flip toolbar button will allow you to shift your displayed toolbars with the other customized toolbars within a particular layout. Your console layouts are also completely customizable. Using the customize toolbar button, you can create and design your own console layouts. Once you've customized your console designs, you can save them to layouts, which can then be selected and recalled via the Raven toolbar. And finally, you can save a Raven session file to store all of your layout changes into one easy file. One of the most powerful features within the Raven software is called the Batch Command System. The Batch Command System is your new virtual assistant. It can execute up to 1,000 key commands, 
menu selections, and mouse clicks from a single button. And the Raven comes with 100 preset batch commands per DAW, but users can also completely customize, record, and save their own batch commands too. Let's create our own batch command to automatically create a new aux track and send. I'll push and hold on an empty batch command. Now I'll hit the record button to record my process. First, I'll click the send in this channel strip and type the word new. Then to use the stereo option, I'll type cursor down on the keyboard and then cursor right to open the bus list. Now I'll type bus, spacebar, and then the number 11 and I'll hit return. Now I'll hit record again to stop the recording and I'll name it new aux bus 11 to send one. I'll confirm the newly recorded batch command and put it into action. We have also created over 100 preset batch commands for you within the Raven software. I'll show you a few of my favorites. It's easy to create new tracks and then instantly name them. Watch me create four new audio tracks with this button. Then I'll option touch the top track and hit this button to name them lead vocals one through four. Applying plugins directly to sound bites is so easy. Using this batch command, I can throw on one of my preset EQ adjustments for a telephone effect to my soundbite. Now let's select this soundbite and instantly reverse it. I hit one button and it loads and it applies the reverse to my selection. Adding custom plugins and plugin chains is quick and simple with the batch commands. Watch me add my go-to vocal plugin chain to this lead vocal track here. And it's just as easy to remove all the plugins as well with the clear inserts batch command. Your Raven software also comes with the Slate remote. This iOS app allows users to automatically synchronize their batch commands to their iPhone or iPad. The remote can be great for stepping back to gain perspective on a mix while still maintaining control of your transport. Or it can simply be used to control your session without having to be near the workstation. This is great for engineers who are recording their own music in a separate room from the main system. The Raven takes away the tedious task of being a technician in the studio and allows you to be an artist, a creative. There are no more obstacles between you and your craft. Click here to find your local Raven dealer.